guys and welcome to my floor or back to my channel whichever you prefer but um today I'm doing fossil Friday but on a Saturday I do apologize but I had an assessment deadline for my masters yesterday and uh, I'm not a proud to say it but it did take me right until the deadline so that's why we're running a little bit late on the schedule but I thought I would film something for you guys today and it's quite a fun video so I'm gonna be cracking open some pyritic nodules so these are minerals that I just think look really pretty so this is what the nodules look like if they focus for you guys so they're just kind of these like bumpy like they come in all shapes and sizes so I've got like a few to do of all different shapes and then I've also got a teeny one to do and uh, I think if this one breaks like perfectly down the middle I will then attempt to make myself a pair of earrings out of the two halves but it might break into like six billion pieces so um, we'll have to wait and see on that one and then I've got some more nodules in my lovely jug here now I do use this jug for food and it's currently now full of sand so uh I really need to start separating my stuff for fossils and stuff for everyday life because this just isn't great for me but uh it will be fine I'll just have sand in my omelettes from now but you know but so we've got like loads of bits and bobs in here so there's some minerals some that I'm not going to break open and there's also some ammonites as well I'm going to come a bit closer because I am just currently like spread out on my floor so let's just slide forward so um, I'll take some out for you guys this one is my favorite one that I found and I found these during a fossil hunting trip a few weeks ago so I'll link that down below if you want to like come fossil hunting with me because I tried to film as I went along now this one the colors are beautiful I really hope my camera can pick them up so this one I'm going to keep as it is, but it, I need to like scrub it a little bit because you can see it's got some chalky like mud in between. So I need to like get rid of that. But look at those colors. It's almost like a gradient of like gold to burgundy. Like I'm obsessed. So we like that one. So I'm not touching that. And then I've got some ammonites in here as well. And I think I've got a piece of coral that needed cleaning. So I'll show you all that first and then we can get breaking. So this ammonite, now that all the sands come out, you can like see completely into like the chambers. I don't know if my camera will pick up the depth for you guys, but like inside it's really pretty. No, maybe, oh, maybe if I do that, you can kind of see the colors inside a little bit, but it's like sparkly, which I love. And then you can just see the normal like ribbing there. So it's just like one chunk, but I think there's quite a lot of detail in that one chunk. So. I love it obviously it's an ammonite so I love it and then let's show you the coral so this one just needed a good soak because in all of the like holes were so many like little bits of rocks and sand so a lot came out of this one and I just think it looks nicer cleaned up so I think this is a lovely specimen so we're not cracking that one open either but just thought I'd show you now this is a sausage nodule they're not actually called sausage nodules that's not a geological term but uh it looks like a sausage but inside will be the pyrite so we're gonna crack this one open as well because they don't all look amazing inside like some look much better than others so you gotta crack a few to get the good ones so that's what we're gonna do now I think this piece is an old mineral so you can find these amazing like ma mascosite mascar site i'm gonna write it on the screen because i don't know how to say it i can't pronounce words if you guys hadn't noticed um and you can find these beautiful like formations of this mineral and i think this is an example of that but it's just kind of had its time so it's no longer like gold and shiny and it's more like irony but it's still i love the shape of it so you guys might be able to tell me more about this piece because i'm still learning with minerals i'm very interested in them but fossils are my thing at the moment but look at that I just think it's a really nice chunk it almost looks like a star like let me know what you guys know about this piece because I like it <laughs> so we're not breaking that one open either then I think this is definitely a fossil of some sort I think it's a crushed what are you are you a crushed ammonite maybe I haven't actually looked at it properly now that it's clean I don't know what is going on with this but there's quite a lot of chambers but uh so this is like one side of it and then maybe a nautilus or a shell I don't know but you can see on the underside if it focuses like there's some chambers I don't know actually it's obviously a little bit hard to tell what it is because it's a fragment but the edge bit maybe it's a crushed it's a crushed something 
either Nautilus or Ammonite. But um, I thought it was funky, so I picked it up. And uh, I still like it, so that's cool. <laughs> now we've got another piece that I'm not going to break open, but just loved the colours of it. So it's another, like nodule but just look at the colors in that so this one needs a good scrub so i need to pick what toothbrush i want to keep and then use the other one to scrub my fossils because i don't want contamination of fossil scrubbing and then putting it back in my mouth that is not an option i can sabotage my kitchenware but not my toothbrush so um, i will go through my stuff i think i've got an old toothbrush i can use but we'll see and then these are just some more nice um simple like little pyrite nodules again i probably won't break these ones open because i think the formation is kind of pretty so we'll keep these ones as they are and just break open the other ones oh they are really pretty aren't they i like it so i'm finding some minerals now which is kind of cool so that's my jug emptied and there's not that much sediment in the bottom i mean there is actually quite a lot isn't there I'll pour it outside, I think, not down my drain. Otherwise, I think the university will be like, who's blocked all our drains? And I'll just hide far away. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna move my camera so we can have a look and then let's start breaking open nodules. This is my very peculiar nodule breaking station. So this used to have, this was what was holding my avocados, but I thought it's got like a nice gap in the middle. Like it might hold my fossil well whilst I smash it. But I think my neighbors that live below me or either side of me are going to hate me. And uh, yeah, cause they're gonna just think someone's like doing building work in my room, but hopefully it won't take me too long. I've got six nodules, but one's tiny. So let's give this a go. So slide off my casing and let's get whacking hopefully these oh my god they're gonna be so noisy <laughs> i might have to silence this bit so you guys don't like break your eardrums this is the first one that actually broke and they have turned out so perfectly this is what i mean by the structure inside like look how pretty that is i think the initial one that i tried to break open this one um i've had to give up on i tried to break it open but it just needs a bit harder of a whack and i feel like my neighbors might go crazy at me if i actually manage it i'll try one more time but i think it's potentially not possible let's have a go oh look at that look at that was that a one hit oh no see this is what i mean look this one not perfect it's already kind of decayed Whereas this one, perfect. So that's why you have to win some and lose some. So let's jump to the next one. Let's try this one next. Ooh. So this can also happen sometimes. So it like crumbles into hundreds of pieces. So you can sometimes like say like these ones are lovely but then like they're not all kind of salvageable so this one has like god how many pieces is that and then you can see like the crystal dust is all on my paper there's probably something i could do with it but i just i don't know i can't save everything i don't think so i'll pop these pieces to one side yeah let's try the sausage one now normally these break very easily So there's normally a weakness. So it didn't break flat, unfortunately, but it's still very pretty inside. So you can see it's got that lovely mineral preservation. Just like that. I picked the right nails to have today. Look, I've got like gold in my nails, but it kind of, these are like silvery gold. So not quite a perfect match, but similar enough. So now the last one I'm gonna do is this teeny tiny one. Now I really want this one to break perfectly down the middle so I can make something out of it. Maybe a pair of earrings, but uh, it just depends on whether it wants to. So let's have a go. decided this little one just isn't gonna break on the bubble wrap that I've got and I don't want to do it on anything else in case I like ruin my floor so I think I need to break this one outside on some hard ground and I think my neighbors will be very happy with that because I was banging it and banging it and it just wasn't wanting to break and uh, I think this one if I can break it in half 
it will be a really nice piece to play around with and maybe put in like a pair of earrings um, and then I can put like a bigger one as a necklace. That'll be fun to try and like play around and make jewellery. We'll see, we'll see. But um, the other ones turned out really nice. So obviously we lost one, but that's how it goes. Not all of them are gorgeous inside. So it's still cool inside, but it's not as cool as it could be. So um, I feel like this one can just stay as a bubbly nodule. It kind of looks cooler like that. So then we've got the sausage one. The sausage one turned out lovely. So it didn't break flat, but uh, it broke well enough. Is it going to focus for you guys? There you go. So it just looks like that. So still fun to find something like that inside. And then my favourite one was the first one. Look at that. So that's what I always look for. I just think, how cool is that? So it's just like pyrite on the outside and then sparkly on the inside. I love like how it's a radial kind of mineral, like it all goes out from the centre. It's just really cool. And I love how it looks. Love it. So that, that's my favourite one. And then I've got like all the bits and bobs from the one that kind of broke into six billion pieces. But like some of the pieces are really lovely. So I can definitely do something with them. And it's the fun of it. Like breaking open anything is just really exciting. Is it going to be like an amazing preservation of this mineral? Or is it going to be like dusty and already gone? Um, so I have a lot of fun breaking open any nodule, to be honest, whether it contains a fossil or a mineral. I just love the fact that I'm the first person to see what's inside and you just never know. It's like Christmas. It's like presents. I love it. Maybe it's just me, but thought it was fun. So I thought I'd take you guys with me and share. And then the other pieces are now dry. So if you guys wanted to see them dry, you might be able to tell me more about them. So this is the cool formation one. So let me know what I found. Um, I love the shape of it. Like, I think it's really cool. Like, it's a shame it's not sparkly anymore, but uh, I don't think I can make it go back to sparkly. Like, there might be some chemicals I can put it in, but I think it's too far gone. But the um, shape of it is still there. Like, it's so cool, I think, anyway. And then I just, I can't get enough of these colours. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a dragon's egg. I've watched too much Game of Thrones, but look. It, like, catches the light perfectly beautiful i love it of course i love it and then i can see if you guys can see inside this one better now you can kind of see it's like red crystals inside the chambers ish maybe but it's just a really nice specimen it's just a fragment of an ammonite but i think it's cool to be able to see like the chambers and the inside of the fossil as well because it just gives you more understanding of what the creature was like i think anyway i think it's cool um, so yeah, I'll leave it like that. But um, that's today's video. Let me know in the comments what you thought and what you'd like to see in future videos. I've got a lot planned for December, so stay tuned. But please like and subscribe for more. My Instagram is down below if you'd like to follow me on there. And I do have a Twitter now. I keep forgetting because I'm very new to Twitter and I don't really know how to use it, but I'm trying. So uh, follow me on there if you would like. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.